morning, Neil. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, buddy? Not much. Having an interesting day uh, so oh, far. Uh, yeah, we talked yeah. a little bit uh, pre-gaming, so yeah, that's uh, that yeah, kind of sucks. Right? Yeah. So you it's know, just one of those yeah. kinds of things that. So for the folks that are tuning in live, uh, we have an issue with our car uh, that's developing, but no, most people are like, oh, great, no big deal. Take it into the, the dealership or to the mechanic or whatever. So. Olivia and I have been living the last four years with just one car. Since we both work from home, there's been no need for two cars, which causes an issue when this event happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, and then for what it sounds like, you know, you got that good, awesome customer service. Yeah, we'll get to it when we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, gee, yeah. thanks. Yeah, I broke. Uh, I limped into the dealer or the mechanic this morning. At, uh, it, it did some weird things on us at like 9.30 on a Friday night, right? It never happens at 8 o'clock on a Monday morning. It's 9.30 on a Friday night. So they got a skeleton crew today. Uh, so they're going to try to yeah, check it out Monday morning for us and see what's going on. But hopefully yeah. it's a quick, quick, easy fix. Uh, and we're back up and running uh, in the meantime. But yeah, just those hurdles, right? That's life. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. it happens. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Rolling in, sliding, in, sliding into this podcast yeah. on two wheels, sirens are on, flaring <laughs> to get back from the car. <laughs> there we go. We're going to have to get like some sound effects buttons <laughs> and, you know, just like throw some sound effects in here, yeah. which, which we talked about this before yeah. and the little preview screen mm-hmm. that has like the countdown to going live, you know, that little, yeah. that little music like that. Why don't we put this out there for everybody? Yeah. Who, whoever comes up with the best introduction jingle for Ooh. our show yep. will win something out of my junk drawer. <laughs> Whatever I got in my junk drawer, I'll take a picture and then it can win something out of my junk drawer. Whoever comes up with the best jingle. That. And obviously they get the publicity of having like their jingle on our, on our podcast. Right. Which this is the time exactly. to get in. This is the time to get in folks. This yeah. is the, this is the get best time. Cause yeah, get in early, uh, oh, vote early so vote often. Get so. in early. And this kind of the segue, what we were talking about earlier about cryptocurrency. Yeah. Cause this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is two idiots that are talking about. We would have been millionaires by now if any of these plans worked out. <laughs> Past opportunities, blown opportunities. I remember sitting at Station 19, opening up the the newspaper, the town's newspaper, this community's newspaper, and in the business section, there was a headline about uh, Bitcoin reaching $1,700. And we were having a conversation about this, and I was like, I do not understand this. I think this is quite frankly, bullshit. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to do anything. I was, I, I, I'm human enough to admit when I was wrong. <laughs> and it turns out, Neil, I was very wrong in that conversation. So obviously you didn't buy any Bitcoin is what you're telling me. Not when it's $1,400. No, I'm still okay. actually don't have any, uh, I still, I, I don't want to, ch- I'm out of Bitcoin. I don't have Bitcoin. I have other cryptocurrency in, in my right. portfolio now, but not Bitcoin uh, because it's been in the headline. It's pushed. It just came down from a high. It was at like sixty six, sixty seven thousand dollars a coin. Of, yeah, a piece. What? Right. And so I checked. I mean, easy math, right? But if we would have put ten grand into that four years ago when we were talking about it at the coffee around the kitchen table, mm-hmm. drinking coffee, when I was saying this is stupid, this is dumb, we'd we'd have a, a three quarters of a million dollars. It'd be six hundred and sixty. Well, at the top, it was like seventy two thousand. So seven seven hundred twenty thousand dollars. Today, it's at sixty one thousand dollars. We would have had six hundred and ten thousand wow, yeah. dollars. Right. Well, probably, you would have had a real probably, nice studio to do to do this in with right? that money. A piece. I mean, because you yeah. would have thrown in 10. I could have thrown in 10. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'd be sitting on 1.2 uh, big <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah, and uh, just, life would uh, be looking a little different. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's hard to pull that trigger sometimes. Dude, you know? I mean, but it's, it's actually bit us in the ass every time we did. We haven't. Well, maybe this will be different. So we're actually doing one of these. I'm not sure if this <laughs> yeah. is our best our best idea yet, but this is an idea, and we're actually pushing into it. Hey, uh, we're 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 three into it. That's right? more than we can say about any of the other right. schemes we had or plans yes. we had. Yeah, yeah. So I was listening to a uh, a podcast the other day. Uh, it's called the Mindset Mentor. Uh, Rob Dial is junior. Rob Dial mm-hmm. Jr. is the host of it. Uh, and I texted you about this, but I'll bring it up because we are early in. He said that when he built his podcast out, this is his brand now, um, that when he was doing research a few years back, that the average podcast lasts 14 episodes. So 
We have to make a commitment so, to make like, this last like, more. Like yeah. 14 and then they just give up? Correct. Or, yeah, 14 yeah. and done. I mean, because it goes back to like sticking with it, right? I mean, trying to build it up it's, and having the traction yeah. and just having fun with it. Uh, from yeah. Apparently, apparently people burn out at about 12. <laughs> they stick it out for two more. <laughs> and they're done. You know, but I mean, I mean, you think about it, we're doing 30 minute segments. I mean, I actually look forward to them every week, you know, talking yeah. to you and just discussing nothing. Nothing. You know, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. I talked us up uh, pretty good last night. Had a little dinner party we went to and cool. Uh, toted our uh, uh, little webcast. You need to get right. like, business cards with like a QR code. Yeah, pass them. Say, hey, check this out. Check this out. Ooh, build some so, build some grassroots foundation up. Uh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked about I mean, some swag too. Get some early adopters in on T-shirts. And maybe that's what we do. Whoever comes up with that jingle gets whatever is in your junk drawer, which could be very mysterious. <laughs> uh, and we'll and we'll by that point we'll build a t-shirt or something. We'll give them a t-shirt too. Okay, yeah. They got yeah. the jingle has to be what do you want? 25 seconds, 30 seconds, oh, no more than 30 seconds. I don't know, just something you know, snappy and jazzy and yeah, you know, something yeah. real quick. You know, okay. just kind of like on your intro page, how it counts down like they're going live in 30 seconds. Just you know, a yeah. little jingle. We'll, right. We'll we'll see how many talented people actually know us. <laughs> A few, <laughs> more than more than we actually imagine. I, more, I think. Yeah. Speaking of are, so. speaking of building the audience, uh, I got us up on Apple Tunes podcast this week. I was struggling, nice. with, I was struggling with that, but we're officially up on. Because uh, they probably didn't think we were real. Well, that's true. They were not sure what they were not sure what to do <laughs> with two yeah. chuckleheads talking and yeah. not. The, what is the point of this? And the right, whole point, exactly. the whole point well, is there. Is I didn't point. know that. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so it's on. We're on Spotify podcast, which actually uh, saw in the headlines this week. They just overtook Apple Podcasts actually for the uh, most streamed uh, podcasts in a monthly oh. period. So uh, we're on Good Spotify deal. and Apple, so we're on the top two. So you can't beat that. Right on. No, yeah. you can't. That's awesome. That's um, awesome. So there's I, no reason not to listen to us or to watch us. No excuse. None. Unless you don't have internets. But, you know, yeah, but then, like, talk with Elon Musk and get the sat- yeah, yeah it was, it was satellite internet. I guess, I guess everybody's got a smartphone nowadays. So True. There's no reason that you shouldn't listen or watch. No, right. Um, I saw somebody that kind of reminded me of you a little bit yesterday with your hair. Uh, he had this look. He, this guy. Had, not, I'm not <laughs> sure. I, I might have set that up wrong by saying that you reminded me of of this because, uh, dude, this guy looked like the fucking Hulk Hogan of ups drivers so uh as you may or may not know uh i am a former firefighter that now has a <laughs> candle company uh in my basement and no my house has not started on fire yet uh but i was he a throws a little public service message in each candle about not to leave them burning when you're <laughs> right? the house yeah. so, so that's what the actual what warning label is on the bottom of those candles i don't know if anybody has ever actually looked at the bottom of the candle but uh there's a warning label. Now, yeah. Read that. And, don't... And, and, and there you go. Everybody, don't go lifting up your candle that's lit to look at the bottom. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. We should go. We yeah, should have a fire hey, safety hey, you check. never know. You know, people are eating Tide Pods, so you don't, you know, you never know. Oh, my goodness. Like I said last week, my uh, soap said don't drink soap. So, uh, right? <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm at basically the U- got to spell it out for everybody now. <laughs> right? So I'm at the UPS store yesterday, uh, trying to cut the cut off in before I leave. And in the truck's parked out back. So they're hauling boxes out of the, out of the store as I'm do- dropping these boxes off. And I see the UPS driver. And he's got like, he's got the goatee, the goatee like you've got going on. He's got nice gray slicked back hair. <laughs> the dude is fucking ripped. But he's got this like, for some reason, this Hulk Hogan. I was like, did like Hulk Hogan become a UPS driver here in Colorado? What is, what is happening? No. I mean, it was just crazy. I was like, man. I mean, his shirt was like a schmedium, you know. So is it like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like he was schmedium. Yeah, so oh, yeah. he was like, he knew that he was like a good looking like sixty year old dude, like lifting the UPS, doing the boxes and stuff. I, mean, I, I, don't know. I thought I, 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 I was like, I got to talk about Hulk Hogan tomorrow uh, on our podcast. <laughs> Oh brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, old brother. Oh brother. Oh brother. I wonder if Hulk we could get Hulk on our podcast. What do you think he'd come yeah, on? Yeah, I'm sure he'll charge us. You know, nothing's free. Why not? Just think how how much more famous he would be if he got on our podcast. On this little ditty. Instant fame. Instant fame. Yeah. Speaking you wait, getting, you wait and see it. It'll happen. Speaking of getting people on our podcast, uh, you're telling me that there's a TV show. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Tacoma which I have FD. Tacoma FD, which I'll be honest, I saw my loosely saw my first episode yet and I haven't watched it. This came out after I left the fire service and I just, I don't know. I wasn't sure what the show was about, so I haven't watched it, but the little bit I saw the other night, the preview was hilarious. And you it said, so I texted you immediately. I was like, <laughs> is this show really that good? And you, your response was yes. Yeah, but you told me, yeah, but you told me about an episode that's uh, kind of key to this. Tell, fill me in on that uh, a little bit. Uh, so you know, uh, I got them all, you know, on DVR. So I'm going through them, and you know, as soon as I hit this episode, I think it's like season three, episode four. Bam, they were all together in the firehouse with uh, doing a podcast. I couldn't believe it. I think I texted you right. I was like, you can't believe this when I'm just, I'm watching right now. There's a show. They're doing a podcast. Just kind of like what, what, what we're doing. And their setup they had was like my original one that had that mixing board that I couldn't figure out. So I right. kind of dumb it down and just go with a plug and play my, but it was, it, yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. I couldn't believe it. What were they talking about? Like what was the purpose of their oh, podcast? So, so they were talking about, some other guy, another firehouse so was a MMA fighter. And I, I, I forget what they called it, but basically if, if you get more followers or likes, if you like condone people, like make fun of them. So like they were saying like, Oh yeah, you know, if he comes here, well, you know, we'll kick his ass and this and this. So they're <laughs> just basically just made fun of him the whole time until they found out, he was coming to visit. Then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, just, just you know, we were two episodes in uh, of ours, and then you know, I popped this on TV, and yeah, it was right. It was pretty funny. Man, uh, as I've told you privately, uh, I'm a, because of the nonprofit work uh, that I do. There's work with there. There's there's a lot of these podcasts out there. However, however, I don't think there's any one of them that's like this. Because the ones that I'm on, they're they're trying to they're trying to teach things and educate firefighters in the fire service, right? Well, which, is, which has its which has its place. Hey, hey, you just educate people. Don't drink soap, right? So we're kind of <laughs> educational. We can get that I slash O emblem, maybe you know, for that uh, <laughs> informational or educational shows like on TV. Right. I think we can do that. Yeah, the more you, you know, know, right? From the like, more you know. yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like don't tip the candle over when it's burning. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Fun um, facts, full of fun facts. Uh, I was watching Useless knowledge. <laughs> that's what we're good for. That's what we're good for. Uh, the I was watching whose line? No, nah, whose line is anyway? That was like the 1990s version. Uh, Impractical Jokers the other night, oh. uh, and saw a hilarious skit on there that had both of uh, Olivia and I rolling uh, with laughter. And did you know one of those guys was a firefighter? Uh, yeah, no, Q. I didn't. But Q. Is, oh really? Uh, yeah, okay. Q was a Q was a firefighter in his previous life before he uh, became a comedian. So, I mean, he made he made he made the leap. Every firefighter wants to be a comedian. Let's be honest. Uh, we all think we're <laughs> we all think yeah, we are. We, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all think we're funny. <laughs> and then, you know, and then there's some of us that want to be podcasters. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. <laughs> and try to make people laugh. Nothing but faith. This is going to go great. So, the skit was uh, they were in the it, it, again. It reminded me kind of uh, that show reminds me of like the three words game we were talking about last week. Uh, but they were in the clinic and they were trying to read off people's names, but all the names were like joke names, like whatever you call a business. But they had people in the audience, and the best one uh, I think was uh, the name was Holden the Fart. Holden, a fart. <laughs> and so when you put it together real fast, the, uh, with their New York accents, is like, uh, is anybody in this waiter? Is anybody holding a fart? Holding a fart? Anybody? <laughs> and then, uh, and then that was the last one. Everybody was on to the joke at that point. So then he started going around. He's like, uh, "Ma'am, ma'am, are you uh, are you holding a fart?" <laughs> and the lady just lost it. <laughs> lost it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do some crazy stuff on that show. I'm surprised uh, they haven't got thrown in jail. So dude, they do. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's like, like I remember one. Like they were in, like they were in the grocery store, and I think they were supposed to do grocery shopping out of everybody else's carts. Of <laughs> so they would like go around and just like take stuff out of people. I mean, <laughs> shit, you'll get beat up or shot. You do that in the wrong place. So I don't yeah, know, and New York City of all places. Yeah. Like, uh, so. My my in laws still live in Manhattan. They live in Manhattan. Uh, I told a couple weeks ago they're moving here. Uh, I've been to New York City a couple of times in my life, and 
a wonderful place, great place. Uh, I've heard pl plenty of stories about it, but I'll be honest from my experience there, uh, it's the most interesting, it's one of the most interesting places in the world. And I'm actually surprised they get people to like interact with them because it seems like there's also kind of that aura of, I'm just going to do my business, stick to my business, oh, keep my head down yeah. and keep walking. But yet they yeah, always, don't make eye contact. Yeah. But they always, <laughs> right. But they always find people to engage with maybe they're just good yeah. good at pulling people <laughs> in, in drawing people in right yeah yeah, yeah. This, that that in itself is its own challenge i mean yeah i have still yet to make it to new york so i've never been there uh, it's on the list but might have to go there's yeah. we could go olivia yeah. will give you the inside tour she lived there for a oh, few yeah. years back in her yeah. life yeah oh yeah so yeah we'll definitely have to plan that but yeah never been there so still want to go check it out yeah we'll go um so we actually got engaged at the uh, original uh, Firefighters Memorial in New York. There's a, there's totally. a different one, yeah. There's not it's not the 9/11 Memorial. Still. Yeah, it's at the okay. uh, basically 100th and Riverside or so uh, mm -hmm. for where it's at roughly. That's a rough estimate, but um, it's actually where the firefighters have a yearly memorial service for it. Originally, it was for uh, the fallen horses and the fallen uh, firefighters oh, uh, oh, so along the lines. A lot, so a lot of history. A lot of history at that memorial, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's an unknown spot, a lesser known spot, I should say, uh, in Riverside Park. So check that out. Uh, yeah, we'll check yeah. that out when we go. Uh, so you sure. look at that educational, educational facts there. Right? Dropping nuggets all over the place. I know, I know. Man, people are going to leave so much smarter this morning. <laughs> uh, were you working on Halloween? No. No. no I saw no, some pictures not. on the on the face pages. Uh, the, yeah, the trucks yeah, went out yeah. in the neighborhood and handed out some yep, candy and stuff. Candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's always a fun time. It's good. Uh, I enjoyed doing those kinds of public uh, yeah, yeah. community <laughs> and events. And the you know, like weather was great. It wasn't, you know, raining. It wasn't freezing cold. So it was right. actually a good 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 turnout we didn't get too much uh, you know we did our turnout here at home was it was horrible we prepared bought five bags of candy and gave out four pieces of it two big bags of candy we had jello shots for the you know for the for, adults uh, right. know, for, for, kid, eh, for the kids if they wanted if they looked if whatever. they looked old enough right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know if they were dressed as a you know grown-ass man well why wouldn't they <laughs> one, right right so no i mean it was oh yeah it was pathetic yeah. yeah. So speaking of, I mean, I, you know, I see more kids out playing after school than I did coming around Thanksgiving. So I don't know if parents are still all worried about the COVIDs or. Right. But. Yeah. We had probably, I don't know, I guess about 20 kids. We bought, we weren't real sure what we were going to get because we're, we live in a new neighborhood. So we weren't sure what, what, what we were going to get. So we bought a, two bags, 100 pieces or so, and then gave out about 20 of it. So it's been a week full of almond joys and uh, Reese's peanut butter cups yeah. for my diet this, <laughs> this week. I remember. I remember as a kid, the worst thing I ever got trigger treating was those damn popcorn balls. Man, it's like it would you would take a bite and just <laughs> chew the hell out of your roof of your mouth. Oh, I hate those damn things. Yeah, you know, they're I, all wrapped up in the black and the orange, you know, cellophane. Yes, oh, man. yeah, oh, I but hated that. you know, I was a kid when there's still like baked goods being passed out at trick or treating too. That's like. That's like gone by the wayside, though. I mean, people got all kinds of safe and stuff, and concerned yeah. about drugs and shit in their <laughs> yeah, it's, Halloween candy. Yeah. And now, now everything's got to just be the package stuff. I, I don't know if that's actually legit, or if that was just a marketing thing by like the candy companies to make parents scared oh. so that they wouldn't take the homemade food anymore. Yeah, I think you know. I think you know. As a kid, I mean, you could even take the parents could literally take their candy and go get an X-ray to make sure there was like. No oh, razor blade. Yes. I, I kid you not. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're passing look out. out for the yeah, twist. Hey, look what's out. that big sharp thing hanging out of that Snicker bar? <laughs> Never mind Crazy. with the old x-ray machines that push out all that of radiation. Never mind the radiation. Yeah. We've, we didn't find any razor blades, but never mind the radiation. It's not we yeah. all of your you candy and your food. Uh, what was <laughs> your the razor blade costume? won't kill you in this world. <laughs> what was your best costume? Do you remember any costumes you were? <clears throat> God. Um. I don't ah, shit. I remember because you know me and I got you know uh, younger brother and younger yep. sister, and we were always at war with each other. <laughs> I mean, I think as we got older, we you know actually started to love one another, but we were just you know. I, I remember as kids, I, I'd be like body slamming my brother and sister and atomic drop, and you're like all the shit like for real. They do on yeah. the, on the wrestling, right? So, you know, <laughs> make them cry and all that. But I remember one year. 
my dad, uh, heating and air guy, and my brother was just, you know, crying because he, he was a crier. Sorry, Rusty, you were a crier. <laughs> uh, what were so you? My dad made him. So if he was a crier, suit. if he was a crier, what were you? what were you? You're the fighter. Uh, the, You're the wrestler. The antagonist. <laughs> the antagonist. <laughs> <laughs> so he made him this robot costume out of like duck work and the flexible pipe. And it was like cool. Dude, that's the only problem cool. was it weighed a ton. And when my brother put it on, he couldn't walk. You know, barely walk. And of course, he had to cry because you know, he couldn't, you know, can't make any, everyone happy. But that was probably the coolest costume was he made a robot out of all that uh, yeah. duck work and tin. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I just picture, uh, I picture like a Tin Man kid from uh, A Christmas Story, like when he's got all that, oh, like, yeah. the, where he can't that's move because he got all the winter coats you know? on. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I, that's what I picture when I think that. But just like Tin Man version, right? So, right, right. So, so yeah, sort of pretty awesome. pretty cool costume though. Yeah, I'm trying to think back. Uh, what yeah. my favorite costume was when I was a kid. Uh, Boy, you know, I, I mean. I know that one year, this will age me a little bit. I was dressed up as like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Uh, there's actually a picture from my hometown newspaper uh, when I was a real little kid where we went to like trick or treat in like the skywalks downtown, uh, dressed up as a pirate, I believe. Um, I know that my mom will comment in here at some point about what that <laughs> was, but I'm pretty sure it was a pirate uh, yeah. that I saw in the newspaper. But I'm not sure that I remember being the pirate. I just saw saw yeah, pictures see, of, saw pictures really, of myself as it. I think the only costume that really sticks out is like later in life, like probably you know not too many years ago, is adult costume party where you know mm-hmm. people get pretty pretty uh, creative. There is I yeah. went uh, uh, as a rubber tree plant, and I just pinned <laughs> condoms all over my shirt and went as a rubber tree plant. A literal rubber tree plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, didn't see any of those walking around. Uh, no. Trick or treat. So. No. Um, yeah. I went as a. I went as a. Oh, this was in my adult life. Uh, an adult party two years ago. Um, that. I didn't have a costume. I didn't have a good idea. So I ended up going kind of like a zombie. But like. I can't even believe I'm going to admit this, but like stuffing huge socks down my pants so that it, it looked like I had a oh. huge slung like down to my knee or something. Oh, you mean like sewing a uh, suck a towel in their wetsuit when we were doing water training? <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, Olivia uh, in the comments asked if there's any crazy stories from working on Halloween, dude. Uh, I honestly don't recall, but if you want to hear crazy stories from working Halloween, talk with the Detroit boys. Have you ever heard about the shit they deal with on Halloween? Yeah, well, they burn the town down. Well, Lit- not, I mean, the residents try to burn the town down. Literally. they. Li- <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not a joke. They literally try to burn Detroit <laughs> every Halloween. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> Detroit had that issue with all the abandoned houses and stuff, which if right. you haven't made it there to see that, that's crazy. I was there a couple years back and that was kind of insane to go through. But yeah, people would literally just burn Detroit down mm-hmm. <laughs> every Halloween. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how those guys did it. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. they did it. They had to let the houses burn because there were too, too many of them. Uh, <laughs> but no, I don't. I don't recall anything too crazy happening in our neck of the woods. Yeah, I, nothing really stands out. But yeah, yeah. And let's hear. Uh, yes, yeah, so people in full disclosure, you only work ten days a month, so. Um, I was on job for 13 years, so working three. I worked four Halloweens. Like if you if you measure it out, I worked four four Halloween nights. <laughs> yeah. Rough math, rough math, obviously. Yeah. But so yeah, and your four Halloweens that you've you've worked, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, so I mean, some are quiet. I mean, you hope for the quiet nights, and then you know you get the night that for some reason you know just running balls out, and you're like, what is going on? Right, it's weird. It's it, you know it's. Feast or famine sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and I'm even trying to remember if we ran on like, we had some bars in our first in territory when we were at station 19. I'm trying to remember if we got into like costume parties and stuff happening. Oh my goodness. I just saw, oh, I don't, I don't, not this. I just saw the front of a building. Oh, it was Whole Foods, very Whole Foods last night uh, before the car broke down. Uh, I was on my home, right home from the grocery store. 
Yes, at nine o'clock on a Friday night. That's the exciting life I lead uh, is I was on the way home from the grocery store at nine o'clock on a Friday night. Uh, but the front of the store had like this brickwork, this brickwork that looked like, I was like, did they build a climbing wall on the front of the Whole Foods? Like, was that their intention uh, of this brickwork? And did I you remember, try climbing? No, because I thought of the guy that we ran on that tried to climb the, climb the rock face up to his second story balcony because he was yeah. drunk and he locked himself yeah. out and then he like yeah. tried to scale the the rock facade up to the and his leg ended up over here so yeah <laughs> but when i saw yeah. that when i saw that wall of whole foods last night i was like what um did, i could only pa- imagine i imagine that same guy like trying to climb up to the top of whole foods oh, oh, for oh, some oh, reason oh, yeah yeah i'm sure i'm sure <laughs> it, it's been attempted <laughs> oh goodness not to poke fun at people's uh, injuries but uh my dad uh, was also a firefighter. I'm sure I think we brought that up too, but he, he told me something when I got in the job when I was young and he said, uh, just remember nobody ever called the fire department for doing something smart. Um, <laughs> and that, uh, yeah. that seemed to hold true. So yeah, poor guy that tried to climb the, <laughs> to rock, the yeah. rock face of his apartment building to the second yeah. floor. Almost uh, made it. Almost. 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 It's, a sto- it. it's a story of our lives. It's, it's yeah. a stories of uh, almost, but. Close doesn't count unless you're dealing with horseshoes yeah. and hand grenades. Like I say, you can do anything once. <laughs> it's worth it. You can give it a shot. <laughs> give it a shot, homeboy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we were going to talk about – this is crazy. It's been 27 minutes already, man. And we've and literally we... talked about nothing. See, that's why I like this. Which is the whole point. <laughs> I mean, we have we had a whole agenda of what we were going to talk about today. And it was going to be like our uh, pictures that we were going to share of like some – all those shenanigans, shenanigans and stuff. Mm-hmm. So speaking of shenanigans, the Tacoma FD guys are the ones that created Super Troopers. Yeah, yeah. So because uh, two of the guys that was in Super Troopers are in obviously Tacoma FD. So yeah. yeah. So oh, how do you say the captain's name in that? Because it's spelled penis I. That's what it's spelled as. <laughs> Penizi. Penizi. Yeah, they they spelled it that way for a reason. Yeah. So when so when idiots like I when like you and me look at it, I was like, that says penis. Yes. <laughs> they know they know that that's the sense of humor, like yeah. it or not. That's uh, that's what it is. But, right. So what, yeah. When I saw that his shirt on the, the thing, I was like, well played, well played, because that's yeah. totally what that said. That yeah. said. Those little hidden hidden things in there. That, right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, shenanigans. Uh, obviously, for those who haven't seen Super Troopers, is a playback on that movie. Uh, it's the bar. It's the bar. Uh, can you believe that Olivia has never seen Super Troopers? She's worked with cops and firefighters at this point for eight years and has never seen Super Troopers. Well, I think she needs to watch Super Troopers. I might have to put that on our movie. That's what I think. I might yeah. have to put that on our movie list tonight. So I actually think, and this is what I think, I think she should watch Super Troopers before Tacoma FD. You got to see where it yes. started. You got to see where it all yeah. started. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you seen the new Super Troopers? Oh, I think we did it. You mean Super Troopers 2? Yeah. Well, we did a shift uh, movie movie day. Was I still there? years ago to watch it. I don't remember and... it. Yeah, yeah we, yeah, we did a shift, <laughs> shift movie, movie, uh, uh, movie day and went there and, you know, theater got the big nice reclining seats and... <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember much of the movie for that past week. <laughs> this is that uh, noon show. You know, there might have been some pre gaming before. <laughs> yeah, I, right? I, I, I remember about half the first half of the movie, and that's about oh, it. Oh, for so, sure. Good productive day. Yeah, Gretchen, you actually bring up a good point. Maybe uh, to have some interaction on our social media feeds throughout the week, we'll share some of these shenanigan pictures on our social media feed. So then we can talk about them and laugh about them on, on our weekly episodes. Bam, there you go. Yeah, because I mean, I don't give a shit at this point. Yeah, because I because I showed showed her the shenanigan pictures I got of you. Yeah, she's like, "Oh, those got to go on, or those are great." Yeah, yeah. yeah I hope uh, I hope you uh, I hope you show my real strong muscle up someday. I mean, we were working oh, on muscle. Yeah. We were working on muscle ups for months just so we could make uh, make uh, one guy happy. Uh, the yeah. fitness guy on our fire department, who's a big CrossFit guy, he wanted everybody to do muscle ups. Uh, we gave it a best. We gave it our best shot for a while. Yeah. Uh, and there's a video out there. I finally got one <laughs> ish. Yeah. I got, I, I still got that video. <laughs> I still got, got it. So. Got one ish. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we'll have to put, we'll have to put that up, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll post those on, uh, uh, the face pages and yeah, no man, know, get, 
get you know get some comments and maybe people share some of their funny picks or whatever. And absolutely, some absolutely. something to talk about next week. Yeah, no, it'll be a, a lot of fun. And uh, you know what I really like about this as we wrap it up to respect people's time is that this has actually made me uh, look. F- obviously re- recall following my career, recall following the time I spent with you and the other guys that we spent a lot of times with, but it's also making me more present uh, throughout the week to pay attention to the newspaper headlines and what's going on in the oh, world yeah. so that we can, yeah. we have something to talk about. So it's just making right. me more present of paying attention to, to quite frankly, the day of the life. And hopefully we entertain people and they laugh a little bit while they're driving across town or yeah taking a shower or whenever you, whenever you decide to listen, (laughs) whenever you decide to listen to us, just shoot the shed. Uh, So so we're on all those platforms. There's no reason not to listen or watch and make sure you like, and subscribe and comment and good or bad comments. Take them. Any any publicity is good publicity, right? We can take some negative comments. Yeah. We're going to share a whole lot of humiliating stuff about ourselves. It sounds like on our Facebook pages. So yeah, we can take, um, just don't let Neil's brother read the negative comments. That might hurt. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> might hurt him a little yeah, bit. Right. But, uh, well, my friend, uh, I really do. I agree. I look forward to this every week. Uh, yeah. This is becoming a good a good thing. And we're only like, three episodes in. We've got uh, eleven more before we quit. Apparently. Um, so Ooh, count- I don't know. Well, let's let's at least make it one past fifteen, so we can throw that statistic in the trash. Yeah. yeah. We're going for 15, Rob Dial Jr. Take that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, take that. (laughs) All righty. Well, I love you, brother. I mean, I really do appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. And uh, just maybe we might run into each other someday soon here. Just maybe. Oh, yeah, we will. All right. Sounds good. Love you, man. I know. All right. And Lucy put supper almost. That's my. Yep. That's uh, still says we're live. It does. I was just in time for everybody to hear my text message sound on the background. That's a reminder for me next see, week. I thought, see, I thought you were playing uh, sound, sound sounds effect. to get out of here. That's our that's our new <laughs> ending thing. Lucy, put supper on the stove, my dear, because this ball game is over. We're out. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, there we go. We have our ending. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Still says we're live though. And out.